Welcome to the world of Emo, the ultimate personal companion robot that's guaranteed to steal your heart. With his cutting-edge Raspberry Pi technology and open-source design, Emo is the perfect fusion of style and innovation. But that's not all. Emo is more than just a robot. He's a living, breathing presence in your life with his own unique personality and emotions. By the capacity touch sensor, Emo can feel your touch and respond with pure joy. And when you're feeling down, he's there to offer comfort and support. But be careful, Emo is a sensitive soul, he gets sad for the tiniest thing, so be sure to pamper him whenever you can. And watch out for his head, too much tapping might take him dizzy. But don't worry, Emo is always there to keep an eye on things when you're not around. With his keen senses and smart design, he can sense jerks, vibrations, and even taps from his vibration sensor. And when he gets bored, he will simply fall asleep. Here is the best part, Emo is constantly evolving with regular updates that enhance his capabilities and design, he's always growing and changing to meet your needs. So whether you're looking for a friend or just a cute and lovable robot to brighten up your day, Emo is a perfect choice. Ready to enter the world of Emo? Let's begin the build. To create this design, we utilize the both solid and freeform modeling techniques. To facilitate the printing process, we divided the entire robot body into multiple parts that can be assembled with the screws later. Since the robot power source is located at the base, we ensured sufficient space between the base and the body to allow the power cable to move freely. Our only design consideration was this cable movement. The body is slightly touched with the base to remove the stability issue while moving. To enhance the robot's aesthetic appeal, we opted for a blue and white color scheme. We chose PLA as the printing material and printed each part separately, which took a considerable amount of time. To increase the strength of the base, we printed it with 40% infill, while the remaining parts were printed with 20% infill. Now that we have all the 3D printed parts, so we can proceed to assembly. Initially, we installed the micro USB module on the base section to power the robot and place the SW420 vibration sensor in close proximity to the USB module to detect the robot's vibrations. The base features three wires, VCC, ground and an output wire from the vibration sensor. Finally, we attach the lid to the base using M3x10mm screws to complete the assembly of the base section. To sense touch on the robot set, we utilize the capacitive touch sensor. It's very small, so it can be fitted in this area. The primary component of the head portion is the 2-inch IPS display from WaveShare, which displays the robot's emotion. To secure the display, we use the black supporters and a small amount of port glue. Additionally, we attached an 8-ohm 0.5W speaker to the left side of the head part to play the audio. To amplify the sound coming from the Raspberry Pi, we used a PAM8403 amplifier. We then secured the bottom head part to the robot's body using M3x15mm screws. Finally, we completed the head section by attaching the upper head part we previously assembled. The body portion of the robot features three servo motors, two SD90 servo motors for the hands and one MG90 servo motor for body rotation. We employed the PCI9685 servo motor driver for convenient control of these servo motors. We secured the MG90 servo motor to the front of the body using M2 nuts and bolts, then balanced the body weight by attaching the motor driver to the front of the body. To prepare the hands, we glued the SD90 servo motors to the both ends and carefully fixed them to the servo shaft. To connect the components to the Raspberry Pi, we opted for a perf board combined with a female header instead of a direct wire attachment. We used a small male USB board obtained from an old mobile charger to power the Raspberry Pi. The audio was transmitted through a TRS audio jack. To complete the assembly, we secured the Raspberry Pi to the back of the body using screws. Additionally, we used a 2mm transparent acrylic sheet at the front end to conceal the gap between the outer cover and the LCD module. After assembly, we tested all components to check whether they are working properly. Then we started writing the code for making emotions. The emotions are constituted by server movements and animations. So that's all about the build. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling journey into the world of Emo. We are proud to be a team of tech enthusiasts constantly pushing the boundaries of innovation with our exciting projects. If you are passionate about technology as we are, 
then show your support by joining our Patreon or buy me a coffee page. And be sure to share this video with all your friends and hit the subscribe button to never miss out on our latest adventures. Thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next video. Stay tuned.